And here we are going on to our next uh, episode of our discussion series with uh, Ambassador Praveen Verma. Uh, welcome to VNN, Praveen. Uh, thank you, Bala, and greetings to you. Stay safe, um, stay comfortable, and do not have any of these mental uh, anxieties during what, during this uh, COVID area. And don't go out for uh, unnecessary walks in the park and uh, exercising, and uh, that's 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 what's happening now. I yeah. don't even do the park. I, I exercise within the house itself. Yeah, I know that that is I think the best thing to do. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just keep on walking up and down. And there's nothing else to do in the sense that either one reads or social whatever. distancing, right? Outside, yeah. but even then, people are still not observing. I, I, I've seen people walking in front of my house. There are people just some sometimes they're going for a walk with three or four people together. Why yeah, do do there are people walking, and if there are three or four people together, I presume that they belong to the same family. Same household, yes, it's true. That, but they are lucky. You wonder why? Why should they do that? Too, isn't it? Uh, well, like uh, some people like to walk uh, around, and, and well, that is. <laughs> there, there is social distancing over there also. Yeah. So these when people drive around also, people yeah. go to grocery. Uh, I haven't gone to grocery even for the last 10 days. Mm. I talked last time when I had gone in. But it's good to order everything online. I think that's best they deliver at home. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, now uh, coming to this uh, coronavirus and uh, India, I think uh, WHO and uh, other Organizations have praised India's handling of this epidemic, or this pandemic, and they say Modi is being doing a good job. Um, what are you? What are your comments? Yeah, I would say being uh, a political, I would say government of India is doing a good job. But of course, Modi's leadership, I one would appreciate, and he has gained gained a lot of um, uh, respect amongst uh, world leaders, and uh, people have congratulated him. And he got these bonus uh, events on uh, the hydroxychloride and uh, paracetamol and uh, his gesture towards uh, USA and other developing countries and our neighbors. So, yes, we are doing uh, well in, uh, in this fight against Corona. And uh, our figures of uh, affected people has also been kept at a very reasonable amount. Of course, there is an element of lack of uh, aggressive testing over there. But still, uh, given uh, the people who are getting sick, uh, it's much less than the world figures, definitely less than European figures or the American figures. Can Canadian figures are still also quite mild compared to the other. Um, yes, that, that's yeah. a, uh, very, very good. I think uh, Ontario uh, is handling it very well. Yes, Ontario is handling again. Again, there is a, a friend Ford who is gaining much of. Uh, He's showing uh, in very good leader, leadership in this uh, whole fight. Yes, I, I would say most of the premiers are doing well, and even Chief Trudeau is doing well. And today, I saw even Andrew Scheer doing well, doing his opposition job of uh, uh, reminding the people that uh, at least the government that the opposition was also there. And yeah. Their viewpoint also should be heard and uh, considered. I, I do hope uh, Trudeau takes into consideration because what he has asked for today is uh, basically a meeting or a virtual meeting of parliament so that they could discuss the issues. And media time, of course, they are getting anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing has been, I mean, there has been a lot of criticism about uh, WHO and its handling of the epidemic and the pandemic. And uh, they did not really inform the world uh, well in advance, although they seem to have known about what was happening in China. Yes, this, this we had discussed it last time also. But, and, uh, yeah, because now the US, US has uh, sort of stopped funding or threatened to stop funding rather. So yes, that's that's the new thing. They actually, when I, what he actually said is that they have suspended funding to WHO till they do their review which might take 60 to 90 days. So basically, it's a 60 to 90 days watching period by Trump with, uh, as to how WHO acts and behind. The only addition is that many, many other countries have also joined this bandwagon in the sense that uh, um, there are Europeans also who are not saying now saying that, yes, um, China WHO had 
misled them in the beginning stages yes and now um, because funding i think i don't know w- w- how much money does india give to who because the us gives about 440 million dollars and the uk about more than 200 million and china gives only 40 million i think we we give 10 million or something that is a map and that is a figure which i would recall from a long time being one fourth of china that is that is how i relate it and although for us there is no national lockdown uh, nor in canada there is no national lockdown not the lockdown as uh, we we <coughs> have yes they have a partial lockdown here the trains are still running uh, metros are still running and uh, uh, buses are still running and people are on the roads but in india it's not that but the phase 2 which has started now will sort of ease up much much more in terms of uh, the first thing start the first relaxation starting on 20th of april yeah they have taken sort of uh, some time to get into the bylaws and how to we would they do the administrative management but from 20th many things will open the buses on the buses will open and, no i'm not sorry buses will not open the good traffic traffic will open highways mm-hmm. will open and uh, goods will be transferred from one place to another Uh, the highway eco- ecosystem will open the dhabas and the auto repair shop for the highway traffic will open then another thing will happen is uh, all these uh, medical institutions and the groceries and uh, the essential services will start opening construction and irrigation projects will start right. then the um, farmers will be able to go back to the field and uh, do what they want so all these essential harvesting and food processing and all these things are to start from the 20th of april now that's these under the essential norms already defined that social distancing will be uh, maintained and uh, all the covid uh, restrictions which uh, were prevalent during the total lockdown period these relaxations are within those parameters now another provision which has been added that these this is for starts and slowly as things start moving in now they will start reviewing every week so every week there will be a review and maybe some more avenues start to open mm-hmm. have to see the next three weeks of covid 2 in india how it pans out whether there is some additional there is a spike in uh, cases or there is uh, Uh, the plateau still remains because at present the growth in the uh, new cases has gone down and uh, the number of testings have also increased so there is a situation where we have to look forward now third important thing is that now all these these things which we have said about the relaxation will be only in the red zone the contaminated zone uh, will not be there in the contaminated zone it will yeah. be in the green zone only so that is one thing at least major part of india that is rural india and uh, uh, semi urban areas where covid has not reached those area will open up in these aspects once we see what's happening they will open up in other areas and as things starts as you said we'll move forward so let's see it's it's, it's an opening which at least uh, some economic activity will start in india in canada also today guru has said about additional funding to the sectors affected mm-hmm. sms smes and all that so here also there is an effort to start economic activity economic activity in a short while it all depends on how this um, pans out because uh, today according to news reports the ministry the ministry of health of ontario says that uh, in worst case scenario it can go up to more than 1600 deaths by the end of this month that that's scary isn't it yeah but that is the extreme model when these models are 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 scary anyway uh, these are statistical models with some practical uh, variance into it but um, the, the the extreme model will not be applicable in in my mind basically the model which they have said which will uh, include the restrictions imposed by the uh, government will be the most applicable one and that is a reasonable that shows a reasonable projection i'm not sure what exactly it says but that is a reasonable projection uh, things have not are still not under control that we all understand and we all accept 
but we hope that the peak comes soon that is the whole idea at least by the end of this month china has now revised its debt estimates i think as i don't know if it's a propaganda ploy to you uh, know to dip that the fudge data because now they say oh there have been some more additional debts in wuhan and we had miscalculated this what they say yeah so, Quite true. Uh, they've added by fifty percent. We have Wuhan province itself. They added by fifteen percent, and they have not given any sort of a. Uh, and they have said that just because of the excess of uh, work at that time, yeah, the figures are a bit uh, incomplete. But I'm sure you and myself, in our mind, were very clear that these figures are not actual figures given the uh, circumstances and the regime. And the red team, yeah, that's me. That's most important thing. Yeah. Now, what about uh, of India? Coming back to India, uh, this opposition. Uh, I, I won't call him a leader. Opposition MP uh, Rahul Gandhi. He says, uh, "Oh, lockdown is of no use. Lockdown is just a pause button." And of course, he has to say that because whatever Modi does, he has to be against it anyway. Yes, that is that is the role of opposition. They have to oppose the government on various things. But the only thing which he really said was. Uh, That uh, lockdown is not uh, the real thing. It is only a temporary solution. This and that. Uh, that was the only substantive part. The other things he said, the government should do this. The government should not do this. They, they, they are already doing it. So there was there was no point in giving all those four or five suggestions. And the first suggestion, which he said that uh, uh, lockdown is not effective and it's only a temporary solution, Mo- most of the leaders, both in India and abroad, would disagree with him. that case because lockdown has been one thing which uh, personally i feel and many of the uh, the leaders and um, many of the doctors also feel that that has affected the um, reduced drastically the rise of covid uh, you know as a diplomat what do you think i mean has, has india earned uh, a lot of goodwill because of say because of india exporting those hydro uh, hydrochloroquine and uh, paracetamol tablets and oh, and sort of modi is in touch with the most leaders of the world uh, most world leaders I mean, as india's uh, diplomatic sort of um, status gone up no? well i would uh, really like to think that way yes yeah. Uh, because of uh, and because because the fact that real fact that all these leaders thanked him. Yeah. And, and yeah. the second most par- important part of this is that uh, our figures are so low. That our figures are controlled. Our lockdown came at a very opportune time. Early, very early. Can that could have been earlier, but that is a post-COVID discussion. But then, given given our population. and given our casualty rates i mean death rates and uh, covid affected rates right, are, yeah. per capita we would be the minimum in the world i would say other than uh, after early quarantine that that was the first thing to be done was yeah. that was very effective and, and at present what this uh, identifying the hot spots the red zones and the orange zones and the green zones seem to be a very good solution given the huge expanse of our country and as an indian i would understand that it is not possible there are various models saying that we are not testing i agree we are not testing much but do we have the resources do we have the capacity do we have the manpower all these things have to be considered in a very practical way so like like uh, i think germany started it they started pool testing it yeah they took samples and tested if everybody was uh, clear then 20 samples were taken care of if it came positive then at least you you come to a uh, amount of testing retesting only 20 of them so similarly india has also gone into this pool testing thing and it is a good thing in this yeah making zones you know make hot spot zones and then test everybody there that yeah. helps isn't it that helps that has that helps in sort of concentrating your efforts in one particular area and where there is nothing happening just leave it at that and watch over there watching is there essential for all areas but then at least identifying the hotspots and keeping like in maharashtra in mumbai you have identified dharavi dharavi is a place like uh, uh, highest density in mumbai mm. by itself the high density now if you keep on testing dharavi itself in the whole area there are millions of people in that area but then you have identified hotspot within hotspot dharavi Small localities, 
houses, the chores where they are. So that way there is a sort of segmentation and some sort of a desi jugaad of our testing is also going on. So, I mean, uh, what happens to China now? Will will the world look at China differently? I mean, take, um, so Japan is already shifting some of its manufacturing to countries like Vietnam and uh, other Southeast Asian countries, so that the supply chain is uh, kept intact and that China cannot intervene or interfere with those things. There would be a difference. Uh, there would be a shift. I some would say. Could be there. And uh, that would be a, a good opportunity for India to sort of find some place mm. where which has been vacated by the Chinese. That and would be a, in Canada and the US too. I think many, many, many manufacturing will come back to these countries, both the Canada and the US. Yes, many were, but again, the, the cost factor and why mm. many went to China was because of the labor cost. Yeah. Now there we, we fare much better than bringing it back into uh, Canada. If I was an entrepreneur over here and I had to shift from Canada, then mm. I have to do an economics between uh, costs in India and costs in China. So there, uh, costs in India and costs in Canada. So there we fare better. The only thing, because we have all other technological advantages over there. As it is, much of the IT and um, IT enabled industry is run by Indians in the developed part of the world. And in the US, of course, medical, uh, medical industry and doctors and hospitals are all run by mainly by Indians. And NASA, you are forgetting NASA also. NASA, IT sector, yes. Anyway, so I think uh, yeah, we have discussed uh, some points for today. And I think we'll continue with this uh, very soon next week. Yeah. And then uh, what about masks? You know, suddenly they're saying wear the masks. Until now they said no, there's no use wearing masks. Now India has made it compulsory. If you go out, you have to wear masks. Uh, here also they're suggesting that if you're going out, wear masks. Yeah. So uh, mask, mask and gloves are a must nowadays. You have to keep yourself. You have, you have a mask? Yes, I have a mask. I've got I have a mask. Things. I have a mask. Yeah. I must show you mask, the mask. Oh, my mask. Oh. <laughs> no, I've got a regular mask, which has been uh, stitched by my wife over here in... in uh, I think this is effective, isn't it? And yeah, this is, this is, this is, if you walk with that, good that you're not walking outside. But maybe uh, tomorrow statisticians might say that India has a lower uh, coronavirus infection rate because India has tigers. Uh, I don't know. How, 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 if, if everybody keeps on walking with that mask around, yes, that, that people <laughs> run away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Praveen. And I think um, uh, stay home, stay safe, and until we meet next time. Okay. And and nice Thank talking to you once again. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody keep watching VNN. Thank you. Bye.